Welcome back to the third episode of the Harbors Podcast. We are joined today, of course, Mr. Travis Morioka. Morio Morioka? 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 Stop. Morioka. Okay, I am Travis Morioka. Don't say my whole last name, please. Say your government? I no, government? I am Travis Morioka. Okay. E-T-M-K. All right. Cam. And then I am Connor. And then we have a we have a guest today, Mr. T. Goda. Hello. Of Shut Wide Eyes. And Harbors Vintage Waikiki. And go 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 to T. And go to T. And we plug in everything. The, hu- the human NFT. And the T doesn't stand for tall. I didn't say it. No comment. I didn't say that. that was a, it's out of Anyways, I think we should we should get rolling, right? Yeah. <clears throat> we should, okay, okay. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. get a little yeah. off 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 track, off track already. But um, T, um, tell tell us a little about yourself. Being from Hawaii, I'm a mention that I gra- I'm a 2016 graduate of Moalo High School, bleed blue. I've been working at Harbors Vintage um, for like four years now. Uh, I started at Kaimuki uh, in like the little tiny shop. Um, and then we're here now. Um, but I also run a brand, it's called Shut Wide Eyes. Uh, so it's currently being carried at Harbors Vintage. Um, you know, and we do um, kind of like a mixed bag of stuff, um, but mainly like streetwear oriented clothing and such. And I'm also the manager at Harbors Vintage Waikiki. Uh, I also shoot film, and yeah, so if you ever need film being shot of you, let me know. You had like the most seniority out of all of us, because you've worked the longest with Eric as well, too. I guess so, yeah. But I guess in that same token, it's like me and Eric are like the same person. I was just actually talking to Eric about this yesterday. For like for the longest time, like coming in here shopping and stuff. I would see you here, but I didn't know you were working here. I just assumed you were hanging out. <laughs> and you know, I mean, and the funny thing is that that's how it started at like Kaimuki was like, I think generally um, at the time I was going to UH Manoa and being in Kaim- uh, the shop being in Kaimuki is just so uh, easily accessible. So, you know, once he had kind of opened up shop there, I would kind of hang out there, you know, so like before I went into work at uh, my a plus job at the time, which is like an after school care uh, thing, um, or even like in between classes, like I would kind of just hang out and and uh, you know just talk story, chop it up with Eric. And the funny thing is, we both have like retail experience at working at Nordstrom, so I think that was like you know like the 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 area in which we bonded over first, and then you know just hang out in the shop and such. So I guess that's kind of where it all started, just me just like loitering essentially. That's fair. Yeah, because I remember when I first like met you too. Actually, it wasn't at the Kamuki store. It was at um, you guys did a pop up in Kapolei, and then mm-hmm. like I saw you there. You're like, oh yeah, let me know if you have any questions. My name is T. And of course, like my, the first two things is like, who is this dude? And second is question this is his actual name. Yeah, no, the second question is, is what does T stand for? I was like, all right, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. So, yeah. yeah, happy to have you here with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. And of course, you know, with everybody here, we have to do a little fit check. So how about we start off with you first, actually? Oh, okay. So um, top to bottom. Oh my God, he's a cop. <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, he's a, okay. He's a police okay. officer. Okay. <laughs> cop no, check. <laughs> no, but when you're looking at someone, you always look at their face first. Not true. On the top, I got this vintage Fantasia hat. Uh, for my eyewear, I got Oakley's prescriptions before they were cool and they did the Brain Dead collab. Um, for the top, I have a vintage Star Wars tee with uh, my homeboy Darth Maul on the back. <laughs> for the bottoms, for the bottoms, I got uh, it's a Dickies Haze collab, or I mean, sorry, Pleasures Haze collab on some Dickies Carpenter pants. Last but not least, yeah, your boy got to represent. Got the Moon Collective socks on, and got the CDG Moabs. So nice, really nice. All right, so start from the top as well. So, HV HV flower chucker hat. I regret not buying the brown one. Um, all right, let's do this. All right, so I can't see when I have my glasses off, but Charmant, shout out segmentism. Okay. Um, big, big, big dopey t-shirt. Thank you, Hez, for the birthday gift. Appreciate it. Of course, human race shorts. Shout out Pharrell. Shout out Pharrell. And I tried, I really tried to wear shoes today. I wore shoes yesterday, at least. What do your feet smell like? My you're not- <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 They smell wonderful, them's is, actually. Them's is rubber. Just, just keep, just like just keep them on. I don't want to smell anything hours. mid-shoot. 
Green Slay Crocs, the ones that came in the last time we filled the podcast. I love them. Um, I hopefully will wear shoes tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. If I get the Slay Crocs, I ain't rushing to put on shoes. And to you, sir. But anyway, to me now. I mean, if everyone's going to start top to bottom, I might as well. I mean. I might as well then. So on top, got the Tough Crowd uh, beanie. Shout out Brandon Jennings. For the top, got this Kobe surf, surfing like sweater uh, crew neck. Uh, shout out Hez. What was that? No, I, I didn't realize that was from Hez too. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I got the orange tab 517 Levi's from the shop. Got some Uniqlo socks, Sick. some thrifted loafers. And I do have to say, I dig in the loafers. Thank you, sir. You thrifted those? Yeah. That's really nice. Sick. Just a little, a little light, something light. Watching all of our fits, you know, I'm sure we watch a lot of things as well too. So a lot of, you know, all streaming services, mm. everyone's talking about whatever too. What are you guys watching? Mm. What's that with Connor? So Again. Many. Well, I just, I just be on YouTube, man. I don't mm. like the TV show. I do watch like highlights and stuff of like the shows that are out now. Like mm -hmm. a lot of Kenobi stuff, mm. a lot of spoilers out there on the YouTube. Episode six just dropped yesterday. Ooh, yeah, no spoilers. So. A lot of fan service, I'm gonna say. Yeah, tons of fan service. Yeah, I heard you died. You didn't even watch Star Wars, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, you get, out of here. get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here with your Harry Potter books. Okay, Harry Potter's cool though. Okay, That's anyways. Like. He just doesn't like space movies. Yeah, he's like Star Wars or Star Trek, same thing. Star Trek is doo doo. But it's not the same thing. Boo Captain Kirk. No. Would you take uh, Obi Wan versus uh, Captain Kirk in a fight? Dude, Obi Wan, any day of the week, any day of the week, especially after last <laughs> night. Or well, let's, let's do something that he can relate to. Um, okay, Harry Obi Potter. Obi Wan versus um, McGonagall. Who's Obi Wan? Oh, that's right. Who's he doesn't McGonagall? know any of the characters. He doesn't know any Wait, of the who's characters. Who's McGonagall? You don't know McGonagall? No. The one that transforms into a cat, the old lady. I didn't watch any of this. Her, her. You didn't watch the movie. Sorry, <laughs> don't flame me in the comments. I don't really care for Harry Potter like that. Or Lord of the Rings. All right, now, next out. So what are you watching then? What are you watching then? <laughs> I can't do anymore. Um, let's see. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little spoiled. I have a lot of I, I all I do is extreme stuff while I'm on, you know, during my weekends. Um, just finished up Stranger Things, or the most recent season. Really excited for the the second half because it looks really good. Um, let's see what else have I been watching? I've been watching The Boys. A uh, little bit more for like mature audiences definitely but it's it, it's definitely a funny show it's worth a watch if you have time and yeah if you got tolerance for that Ooh. um obi-wan just finished that up that was really good stranger things though honestly like from like the soundtrack to the costume design uh to the storytelling i thought it was just really good i would say Probably like top five this year as far as like TV series or like streaming they, service series go right now. They win in an Emmy. They win in. They win in an Emmy. Yeah, dude, running up that hill. But if they go on a song um, slaps. Kate Bush. Kate Bush. I don't know. The song got really played out after I kept nah, not seeing nah, it over but, and over. But on also, but but they 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 putting Journey back on the map though with separate ways, nice. or worlds apart. So actually, funny story about Stranger Things. I I was like really into it, but then when the new season came out, I was like super busy. So I watched it with my mom, but then she was already binged it. So I last I watched the last episode of Oof. the season, and I was so confused. Oh, damn. <laughs> but yeah, it made dude. me look forward to the next part, though. Actually, yeah. yeah. I had no clue what was happening, and it was good, though. Besides that, you know what's really funny, like, on your kind of thing? I've been Jesus. watching a lot of, like, Wes Anderson, because like, a lot of it's on uh, HBO now. Yeah, if you, if you don't know, I'm a sucker for Wes Anderson movies, so... Yeah, so like I recently rewatched um, Moonrise Kingdom. Ooh. Um, and what is the one hotel again? I don't know. I don't know what that's uh, Oh, the Grand French Budapest Hotel. Grand Budapest Hotel and the French Dispatch. I watched that recently. French Dis Dispatch. It's on HBO Max. Is that not a sponsor. Um, I don't know what any of you guys are talking about. Oh. And um, also, what else? One? A lot of Maddie Madison cooking videos. Mm. Fun fact: I only watch two spectrums of either cooking videos and cartoons. Or documentaries. I don't watch any TV shows. No, it's literally those two spectrums. 
I love Maddie Madison. That's my dude. Mm. I love, you know, Wes Anderson films. <laughs> Stranger Thing last se- last episode. Yeah, that was going too. You just saw the last episode. That's I, no, I literally did. Yeah, I was like, I was watching. I was like, what episode is this? Oh, the last <laughs> one. I'm like, all right, bet. And I was so confused. Nah, you definitely you gotta you gotta watch the whole the, the whole season play. I'm good. Oh that. wait, hold on. <laughs> also, you're gonna hate this. Oh, oh no, Miss Marvel. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm a fan. Walk out right now. That's all I'm saying. I'm a fan. You, what, is, what is your gripe with? Okay, to give context for everybody, so just when Miss Marvel came out, like what three weeks ago now? Yeah, yeah, the first episode. Ago. Yeah, so when the first episode came out three weeks ago. I gave it a chance because I'm a sucker for Marvel as well. And I was just utterly unsatisfied. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the Miss Marvel fans, the hot takes. I think I went in with the wrong idea of what to expect out of this show. But to give context, I did, did tell Travis expect? that I feel like with a lot of the Marvel series, if you're not if, into the character at all, you kind of just have to like let the series like play out and then just binge it. Cause it's meant to be kind of like a, like a one like six hour long movie essentially, but just broken up into different parts. So in, in so in the de- defense of Miss Marvel and myself, yeah. I'm gonna let it just play out. But so, I, you know, what I mean, like I'm I'm curious to see where this lands because, I think so far of all the Marvel series, have you guys are you guys all caught up on? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Oh shoot! Oh. oh. I don't well, care. It, or just like the general like consensus for me Wanda is. Vision, what? Um, I WandaVision is top three for sure, but I think my and favorite it's not top series one or two. No, my <laughs> favorite series from like the Marvel like streaming series is Loki. Oh yeah, hundred percent right. Loki. That came out, actually, yeah, Tom really good. But like, so I, I'm I gotta give Miss Marvel another chance, but I, I'm gonna wait for it to finish. You know what's gonna be the worst Marvel TV show though? Which one? She Hulk. That looks terrible. What? The CGI no. looks terrible. It's just the CGI. Okay, <laughs> the CGI I'm, I'm gonna end it at this. Connor and T don't respect women leads. All right, going on to next wow. one. It has nothing um, to do. It has nothing to do with the acting. It's out. just the, time out. <laughs> have you seen all the other Marvel movies with how the CGI works? I. Guess. But with the. But like okay, but like they make the Hulk look like Should've super just, clean in like all the Avengers movies. That's what I'm saying. So like, why wouldn't She Hulk look like clean? Bro. She just like like as far as like the green. CGI just go goes. with the Lou for Lou for Igno nah. route and just like nah, bro, dude. Pinky she Hulk, green, she Hulk is mommy, man. That's what she it is. is. Uh, like, uh, speaking uh, of Travis has an Amazonian fetish. Amazon. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm ready for the Daredevil tie-ins though. Bro. Sorry, deep cuts. Anyways, moving on. Um, John Bernthal as Punisher. What? Talking about celebrities though. Uh, let's talk about some of our favorite celebrities and like our style icons, essentially. But um, famous dress celebs, um, honestly, a lot. Um, it's gonna be like Steve Lacey's up there. Okay. His album coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, Have you guys listened to the single, single yet? Yeah. yeah. Good song. I really liked it. I still have yet to listen to it. I'm oh. just not on. Oh. My, <laughs> I'm just. I'm not on top of music like that. But I. <laughs> but I will give it a listen soon. Um. Uh, ASAP Rocky, little little overrated, but he he got some clean fits. He pulls off some clean fits. People be hating on him a lot now. He's a father. He is a father. She gave birth already. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Do you know the name of the kid? Congratulations, Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, and unnamed child. Maybe they just don't want the name to get out. But uh, who else? Who else? Steve Lacey, ASAP, ASAP Nast, of course. Mm. Nast. He Nas just pulls off style. like crazy. Yeah. crazy Shout out ASAP Nas for the Converse though. Converse mids. So I, I I was able to narrow it down to like a couple last night. Um, but I think top of the list for show, Jeff Goldblum. Like he is on the older side. But like I think that just goes to show that like style does not require you to be young. Like 100%. Like, Style icon for sure. Um, and like really random, but I just recently saw him on Jimmy Fallon maybe like a week or two ago. And he had the meanest Prada fit, like all Prada. He's a swamp man. Yeah. I mean, I understand that like he's friends with like the, uh, the the fashion house, but like he pulls it off really nicely. You know, there's some people that like wear, really wear like really expensive stuff, but they can't like pull it together yes. nicely. Jeff Goldblum is not one of those people though, for sure. Shout out Jeff Goldblum. Um, I also was thinking of Snow Allegra, 
Not only is she an amazing artist and a beautiful woman, but she she can dress. Yeah, like if um I just recently saw her fit for um something in the water. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. So to give context, so her her outfit was like the split like pattern coat. Really uh, nice. And with like the matching really bottoms, nice. and it was like not only was it a crazy fit, but her performance was really good. If you got time, you should look it up. Snow Allegra, something in the water. Shout out for her for putting her on the lineup. Um, I also have Amine, also another amazing artist, handsome man, friends with Jock Moose. Shout out Jock Moose. Um, but yeah, like his fits go crazy, and not only that, but he got the he got the partnership with New Balance, like our favorite company. Okay, my favorite company. <laughs> nah, but like Amini got the craziest fits. Um, yeah, and he styles it really well too. And like he's always like kind of like I feel like he's always kind of ahead of the of the pack as far as like style goes. Uh, let's see who else did I have on my list. He do be playing with a lot of color. Uh, oh, Donald, I, how, did, how could I forget? Donald Glover. My man's Donald Glover. Not only is he... He, he basically dresses like Lando Carrizzi. A little Lando. bit, yeah. But, like, his style, like, is, like, super diverse. Like, he, he's able to, like, dress it up. He's able to dress it down. You know, and he's got this amazing TV show, Atlanta. He's a great comedian. Love him from Community. I mean, he's also Childish Gambino. Dude, this man can do everything. And last but not least, I feel like this is an easy one for anybody and everyone. Tyler, the creator. Easy lob. I don't even have to explain myself. Furry hats. You do the rest. Come into the beach in a furry hat. Yeah, pretty much you guys covered it already. You know, for a few celebrities I like. Um, Amini, of course. A lot of colors going on. That's why I bought the Crocs, too. So, yeah, very inspired by him. And he's friends with Salehi Benberry. He is. And um, ASAP Rocky, of course. A lot of good fits, you know. Oversized looks, jeans, anything. He put on like a lot of people. It's a lot of stuff too. That's Super, why. Very, very New York. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Style. Um, Pharrell, of course. He may race shorts on me. Mm -hmm. Wears a lot of cactus plant. I love cactus plant. Mm. And this is a personal one I like. Mm -hmm. My boy. My boy, Action Bronson. Ah. Uh, he see, being, that was like, yeah, because I was trying to narrow it down to fish. five. Mm -hmm. He was like number six. My boy be wearing hoodies. T-shirts, long sleeves with the shorts all the time. Big dude, I'm a big dude. Very inspired by that man. Yeah. He talks, he can talk for stories, mm. but his outfits tell even more stories, you know? Mm. Stuff like that. Also, yeah, he's been, he, his New Balance game is crazy too, that's mm. why. Because I know he gets seen a lot of pairs, but he styles them really well too. For mm. a guy, you know, really big with, you know, all kind of tattoos yeah. all over him Dude, too. big ups to him he though. Like, like he's, like a, yeah, he like, he's he slimmed down like crazy. That's he, the boy, He'd be man. out there, yeah. bro. That's the boy. He's on that. Dude, and shout out Action Bronson for um, effing yes. delicious, because that should be putting people on. Yes, with Mayhem, Alchemist. Yeah. And body. Big body. Action Bronson, Action Bronson. That's the man. What did he... Oh, he did the ALD like. That's right. Yeah, he did the he did a lookbook for that he too. Did yeah. Look book yeah. For that. Him and Al Alchemist. Yeah, dude. Yes. That was a crazy one. Dude. Also speaking of lookbooks, you know, we're going into summer, of course. Mm. What is like one like iconic or classic like summer piece for you guys personally? One classic one. Now I'll probably go shorts because I, I wear a lot of pants, so oh. I don't own too many pairs of shorts, so it's big, mm. terribly, terribly hot, especially now. It's getting like worse and worse. It's like yeah. nine degrees like every day. Like yeah, because our summer is pretty high nice. noon. <laughs> mm. So probably like a nice lightweight short, like a nylon short. Um, Brennan's all the way mesh shorts. Mm. Just or like any mesh short, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just those those things. Yeah. There we go. Classic, classic. Yeah. So for someone that's always wearing pants, um, I love my clogs. Like shout out like. Birkenstocks and like Crocs, but I think um, I guess this kind of like bleeds over into like the cop list, like or like on my cop list. But um, put y'all on game real quick, okay? Alix ten seventeen mono slip ons. That's all I gotta say. They're essentially like rubber clogs, but they look like shoes, and you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with shorts, but you the main thing, you can wear them during the summer. 
Those are really nice, though. They are really nice. And, like, the good thing, the, the nice thing about them is, like, do they, they do, I do have to give a warning that they do retail really high. <laughs> you can find them on sale, though. That's the, that's the nice thing. They retail at, like, two thirty five, <laughs> But, like, when you find them on sale, you can find them for, like, a buck thirty. So be on the lookout for that. Travis. Um, mine's gonna be super easy. Cause you know, pretty much live in Hawaii, it's like pretty much summer almost every day. So I feel like a good like summer thing, of course, like, you know, neon or like really, you know, bright saturated colors. Example right now, you know, I feel like in some other places, like, you know, you went to, you know, New York recently, mm -hmm. it's all mm -hmm. toned down, dark and everything. I went, I've been to Seattle, it's like darker clothing over there. But like, you know, over here, like, you know, bright colors, everything to wear, you know, you can wear your greens, your reds, your pinks, your violets, everything like all that. All the primary colors. Exactly. All the primary colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Green, violet, purple, all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, very much, uh, I feel like it's a summer essential. Growing up, I've been wearing those like all my life too. So yeah. Essential for myself, actually, yeah. Big, very, very much a big essential for myself. <clears throat> yeah, definitely got to get more color into my wardrobe. I feel like, I, yeah, it's very mono. Guilty. Very mono. Very, like, one, like, lighter shade, or darker shades, stuff like that. It's never too late to start. We can start no, right now. No, I'm trying right now, but I, I'm, I can't find, like... Dog, let's go shopping. I need, yeah, I need to go, sh I need let's to shop where shopping. you shop, bro. <laughs> Harbors Vintage and Harbors Vintage Waikiki. The plug. All right. <laughs> and then also you've mentioned also, you know, some recent things are not for say, um, some upcoming releases as well, or pickups. Mm. So let's talk about some upcoming releases. So well, let's you have that. the full list of it, right? Uh, I do, I do. Um, so top of the board, um, very little details known, known about this release right now. You know, it's very early. Um, shout out to the homie from Pleasures, Mr. Alex James came through the shop. Came through the shop for like oh, yeah, we met him. a couple weeks he ago. Did. Stopped at Waikiki first. He did meet the boo. And then but he came he came hung hang out with the hung out with us. Um, met met the family. Um very, very nice guy. Yeah, shout out very Kiko. Nice but um what Kiko Cat No, no that, that's his, oh, his oh, yeah, son's his, name. Oh yeah, we gave him a little Milo. A little, oh sick. Yeah, we gave him one of the little Milo bags. Yeah. But he really only wanted the plushie. So, but Aww. Eric Eric did a solid and just gave it to him, but had to had to buy it himself because his consignment. <laughs> oh, Ooh. but um, yeah, no pleasures A six gel light three. Um, mm. they did a or pleasures did a collab with them, um, a couple years back. The like last yeah, year, the year last, before. Yeah, last that. year, yeah. the year before. Um, what was it? It was like it was a like gel mint. light. No, I don't think it was a gel light. It was like a mint. I don't, I'm like not a, like a gel models. Nimbus or yeah, something. Yeah, I think it was a Nimbus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was really nice. That one's um, super sick. But yeah, the gel lights are always a classic A6. Just like a nice running running shoe. Everyday use. Yeah. Um, uh, something, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's a nice, it's nice. It's like a like a gray and like teal color. But yeah, so the upcoming release is like a gel light 3, right? Yeah, gel light 3. So mm. that's like more of the more recent yeah. mod models. And one of the most popular ones. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But um, next on that list is... Oh, oh, definitely a cop, though. Oh, definitely a cop. Definitely a cop, yeah. You cop, okay. Yeah. Um, Jelly 3s. Well... Also essential. <laughs> well, T brought up um, Alix earlier. So, Mr. Matthew Williams is doing a... Collab. Hot garbage. Hot garbage. Garbage. It's basically the mono slip-on. <laughs> Hot garbage. There want to be... Okay. There's the same guy that made the slip-ons. He's the main, same guy that made the mono <laughs> slip-ons, bro. Make eye contact with me. Go first. You go first. Go. Go. Hot garbage. Okay. And I'm going to give reasoning. I'm going to give reasoning. All right? You heard it here first, guys. Hot garbage. Um, in my opinion, like, they're just, like, they're really, like, wannabe Yeezys. Like, I understand. Don't get me wrong. I understand Matthew Williams comes from the school of Yeezy. And he comes from, you know, like, it's, it's like, the same wheelhouse as Kanye. But I think the Matthew Williams Zoom Streak 5s or whatever they're called. Yeah. Like, I think they look a little bit too close to Yeezys. I do have to say, though, sure. like, so the initial, <laughs> the initial, like, teaser shot with, like, the black pair with him wearing them mm -hmm. looked a lot like Yeezys. But, like, recently there surfaced, like, a, like a grayish-looking pair. 
and I know there's like a like a it looks like there's like a some kind of like a metal piece or like a carbon piece like in the sole. But yeah, so I know like recently there's like been pictures of like this the gray colorway mm -hmm. and there's like a metal piece like in the sole. Um, so I kind of I appreciate that like it gives it more of like an Alix like Matthew Williams yeah. type of feel. But I feel like just like the general shape of it looks too much like a like a uh, like a Yeezy foam runner for like for me to really appreciate it. Like it's a little bit too a, like I feel like the more it's a more narrow. It's not as it is. Not it, as it, wide I mean, as a like it, it's it's. I'm not saying it's like exactly the same thing, but it looks too similar for me to. Eh. To want to cop? Yeah, it's an, it's a, it's a it's a pass for me. I, I'll respect your answer, but I disagree. Oh, you know what though? Me and Connor, we're talking about this though. If you're gonna buy a Matthew Williams Nike collab, get out by TRs. TR <laughs> Nike TR. Free Run TR3 Matthew get Williams. <laughs> Look it up. It is ridiculously cool. It's like a mid-cut, um, like Nike Free Run shoe with like a Vibram sole, but the Vibram sole comes off, and you can put it on any sneaker you want. Okay, that Vibram. Part is cool. But just the look of the shoe in general is just And Vibram is is like cool now, so just letting you know. If you're gonna buy a Matthew Williams collab, buy that one. Or get the Zoom 4 or this one. Alright, so now camera on me. I just wanna say, so <laughs> I understand. Cause Matthew Williams is the creative director of, a, of like a, a leaks. Give, and you know, all these other brands. It's different. Give it me. is essentially a slide. It's different. It is different. A slide and a foam runner is different. No, I mean, it's, yeah, it's yeah. different because, no, it's not the same. T is trying to be a fashion boy, a high fashion boy. You wear what you want to wear. Where, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm just giving my opinion. This is my two cents. Take it or leave it. And coming up to high like fashion, Like at the gas station. Oh, of course. We have our boy. I don't know how to say his name. I feel like I, didn't, I, feel like I mess up the name all the time. What is it? Jacques Moose? Jacques Moose. Jacques Moose. Mm -hmm. Jacques Moose. Jacques Moose. Yes. Who's the Jacques creative Moose. director? Yes. Do, you, do you know the creative director? What? No, that is his namesake. Oh, that actually is. Yeah. yeah. I thought there was somebody else behind it. No. Jacques Moose. Sh Jacques Simon Moose. Jacques Moose. Simon, that's his name, yeah. Simon. Very I can't remember his first name. Or Sim I know, is it Simon? It's either Simon or Simone. Oh, okay, put it in. Simone? Jacques Simone, Moose. Jacques Moose. <laughs> Jacques Moose, though. Jacques Moose. <laughs> just, just leave it at that. Just, just leave it at that. that. Okay. But he has his Nike collab. The pictures are out already. The Hamora. Humaras. Humaras. Yeah. They're very interesting. Travis doesn't like them. Travis doesn't like them. Don't I, don't like, um, I don't like small swooshes or like the gel, like the gel swooshes. Yeah. Travis hates small things. That's why you. That's why he doesn't like <laughs> me. Doesn't like you. I'm not saying it's wrong, but you know, it is what it is. It's wrong. You know, gotta step up the game, dog. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> so in in inches. like the yeah. So I want. I, 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 Bro, I mean, why just grow up? Why you just yeah. Because me and Travis were talking about it. I really like them. Uh, Travis obviously doesn't like <laughs> them. What do you think um, of them? Because there's multiple different colorways, right? There's Two. A, there's, so there's no, like okay, a you know, there's like a cream there. and like and light brown. brown. I like the yeah. brown and pink. Mm -hmm. and the, I mean, it's a good. I, I like it. It's a good collab. Mm. Um, I mean, I'm into like salmons already and stuff, so it would. I definitely could see myself in those. Yeah. So, yeah. Is that because it's a trail shoe? So. Yeah. 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 But I'm not nice. gonna be hiking in them. Uh, definitely not. No. But <laughs> I, I hiked it. <laughs> I hiked in my ACS pros. <laughs> Whoa! Really? Yeah. Wow. Shout um, out Solomon. Doing the good work, man. Doing, doing God's work. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Anyway. But yeah, I mean, before we move on, though, shout out Jock Moose for using Jorah Smith for the, the campaign for the Nike collab. Jorah Smith. One last thing, one last February thing. 3. Upcoming releases, coming out tomorrow, actually. <laughs> Off-white oh. Nike Air Force mids. Thoughts around? Thoughts? Thoughts? No, I just want to end it at that. I know you guys' thoughts. Wear what you want to wear. Thank you, Virgil. All right, so speaking of the whole Yeezy thing with, you know, Matthew Williams and everything, um, it's been a big issue in the streetwear community. So, you know, recently um, dun, Adidas dun, dun, put dun. out their new slide, their new Adilet, and people are saying, or Kanye said, you know, they're taking from these, these design. I just want to know, like, what your guys' thoughts of it are first. That's why. He had a... With, it was with the Adelaide, and did he have, he have a problem with the slides too, right? The slides like, are like, there's the, a new like foam runner looking shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like the Adelaide 22s. Yeah, those ones, yeah. yeah. Those, um, I don't, 
it's it's tough honestly um because it's like a it's a collab like it's a collaboration like with because like everything is like mm. i don't know if every all the design comes from kanye himself mm. so i feel like people at adidas have kind of like a right to kind of mm. kind of play around a little bit but mm. it's clearly off it's pretty it's pretty yeah. bad. it's pretty bad just threw they, it's just a foam runner and they threw on laces with it <laughs> it's just yeah it's not a not a good looking shoe in the first place it's yeah. just then it just adds more heat to it because it's Kanye yeah you know I mean personally I don't necessarily care for the light or the slides or the shoes um and like from the standpoint of like where Kanye is coming from like as like someone who is like a creator themselves like you know like someone who you know like is a photographer and is like a designer and stuff i mean i understand where kanye is coming from where essentially like he's just just another artist getting his um his work like ripped off and you know uh like yeah like just like a lot of like you know like those etsy sellers or you know like small like designers that like you know do their own cut and sew stuff and then they get their ideas like essentially like ripped off by like big, big houses, yeah big yeah, fashion yeah. houses and stuff so it mean you know it it's unfortunate and i'm glad that kanye is making a lot of noise mm -hmm. because i feel like this is something that happens a lot mm -hmm. um so for him to be making so much noise about it um you know i think it, it kind of like drums up and it kind of you know like unites like a lot of like artists that you know don't necessarily have a voice as big as his to you know kind of back him up but in the same sense, from like a business standpoint, you know, it's it's tough because I'm sure the man signed like a bunch of, you know, paperwork and mm -hmm. like contracts and stuff saying like, hey, essentially like yeah. your we designs are now design yeah. are, are, you know, our designs now, you know, so the same I idea of like, um, you know, if you, if, you know, let's say like the person that, oh, Mark Zuckerberg, right? If he made Facebook on like a university computer or something, then you know, you know what I mean, and in some like loophole way, like it's it belongs it's the to the university. university because it was on the university computer. So same, same notion. So it is, it's a weird, like legality type of thing. Like I'm sure, like I I know nothing about you know like stuff like that, but it is unfortunate. I'm sure there's. I mean, Kanye could do something if he really pursued yeah. it, but um. Just like from a creator standpoint, it's kind of messed up. I know, Travis, your thoughts? Um, I will say the foam runner shoe is 100% like, you know, just ripping off the foam runner itself. I will come to the defense of the slides, though. Because, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone's saying it's like, um, a, you know, a easy slide. But, you know, like, everyone does slides. Nike does slides. Puma does slides. Adidas does their own slides. It looks like a yeah, just like very like geographic, like topographical. You know what it is too? It's like, sorry, don't mean to cut you off. But like the color palette too, I think mm -hmm. doesn't help the case in Adidas's case as far as like it being original. I feel like too, if anything, if you're going to go after color, then like, you know, Slahey's using like browns, greens, stuff like mm -hmm. that. So yeah, I know like everyone's going after the slides. That's why. But yeah, the slides, honestly, I feel like it's like, you know, it's been an Adidas staple, you know, just like, you know, they changed up the look of it, look futuristic and the colors are just, you know, Colors everyone wants. Everyone wants now blue, like um, browns, greens, beige tones, like that. Very much earth tones. But yeah, honestly, hey, when those slides come out, I'm gonna buy them because I need me some new slides. <laughs> wow. That's what it is. That's my that's my copper job, man. That's what it is. We got plenty of slides back here. Yeah, but none of them are 13. Oh, shoot, that's right. <laughs> that's it. That's all I need. I need a size 13 Call to action. Slides. If you guys got you size, guys 13 size 13 slides. Easy slides. Yeah. Slide and it to him. Now he's going to end up buying a pair like he bought like the bought the Crocs before for the next episode. I would. He's going to show up to the fourth episode with the with some easy slides on. Oh, I would. Goodness. That's my, that's my, I'll, be, I'll cop that definitely. But also, you know, speaking of copy drop, a lot of things were teased. A lot of things were shown these past two shown, weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard to keep up, or hard to hard to like pick, like narrow it down. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot that came there's out. So too. Much yeah, that came there's out. a lot. So the first thing that came out, I'm gonna talk about, is gonna be the you're gonna like this one too, of course, the um, Dior Birkenstock. Club. Oh, you love those. Huh? Oh, you're a rich boy. I am such a fan, and it's funny because I know we've talked about this. I love Birkenstocks. They're so comfortable, especially if you have arches. 
But I think what I liked about the Dior Birkenstocks is like the like the implication of like or like the inclusion of like the Alix belt buckle. Mm-hmm. Like uh so if you like look up pictures of it, there's like a like the Alix like Dior buckle like little clasp. Uh and it's it's a nice silhouette too. It's like the Birkenstock um Tokyo like model. So it's not a s it's not a model you see often. It's not like the Boston or the Arizona. Or any of those. Like it's a it's a model that you don't see very often, first of all. Second of all, it's like uh I haven't seen a pair in hand personally, but like just from like the pictures, like A1 quality. Like that suede looks super butter. Like ah oh, it's but the price tag is the price like the gatekeeper of, <laughs> of all. It's like eleven hundred dollars. Say you were to have just like oh, if I had eleven hundred dollars, bro, around. I I would in a heartbeat. I would I they would be on my feet. There's no doubt about it. There we go. On and um to the opposite effect of it, I'd want to say, I had a pair of Stacey Birkenstocks. They're really nice. <laughs> I do have high arches as well. But like you know, they're not the most comfortable thing in the you world. Break, he didn't break them in. He didn't break them in. I did break them in actually. I had them. I had them. I had my Birkenstocks longer than you had your pair. I'm trying to remember. There we go. Because he sold his on Grail. There we go, folks. Ooh, you heard it here first. But yeah, for me, it'd be kind of a drop, honestly. I like them. I like the design of them. But you know, just for my comfort and foot, you know, I'm also a big dude. So yeah, I need something comfortable to wear too. That's all it is. What do you think, sir? Um. I mean, they are a very beautiful silhouette. Very nice. Um, really like the gray pair. The gray pair is... Mm. I'm not a fan of the sandals. The sandal ones. Mm. Um, but... Um, uh, I, I mean, yeah, if I had like $1,100 laying around, I'd buy it just because. Just because. Yeah. Just, just to say I have them. Probably wouldn't wear it that much, though. Yeah. I'd take out a loan for them. Take it out a loan. I'd take it out a loan. I'd go in debt for them. Yeah. I'd go in debt for them. Jesus. You heard it here first. <laughs> If any bank tellers out there want to <laughs> lend lend this man a loan, bro, all the bank homies right now, all like, hey, yo, the bank homies, yeah. they're, they're just scheming, like, oh, we got this dude. We're just gonna charge him crazy interest. We got this, and he just wants what? He Birkenstocks? Just wants Dior Birkenstocks? Okay, never mind. We can't gonna, do this. He's gonna put a down payment on the car. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now next one. This one was just like teased, like what, like. Three, four days, days ago? ago yeah. Yeah, yeah, literally like four days ago. So it's like the newest um, Stussy, Stussy Nike. Nike collab. So it's the Stussy Nike Air Max 2015. But it's the 2015 mixed with the yeah, model, Yeah, so right? it's like there's like bits and pieces of it from like the 2015 model, but also like the 2016 model. Yeah. And I want to say too, it's not Travis Scott, but it got the reverse swoosh on it It do too. have the reverse swoosh on. But in the defense of Nike, they were doing that on the 2015 Air Max model way before Travis. Stussy did it. Nike did it before Travis, man. That's all. I gotta, that's all he has to say. Um, personally, Stussy ripping off Cactus, Cactus Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am not a big Air Max dude, personally. I only have like um. Yeah, I have like one pair of Air Maxes. They're like my clot ones. They're really nice to wear. I beat them up all the time. But like, yeah, personally for me, I would not wear it. So it'd be a drop for me. What do you think? I don't care for them at all. Mm. I think they are hot garbage. I'm sorry if you like them. Again, this is my two cents. You can just leave it at the gas station counter or not. I don't like them. Like, I think Stussy's, like, trying to ride that, like, like hemp fossil colorway wave, yeah, really like, mean. really hard. And, like, I don't... I'm not saying it's wrong, right? But, like, they, they started the wave with the Stussy Spirit Ons, like, in 2019. And then they did it again with the like, the Air Force One lows, and then the mids, and then they're doing it with the Air Maxes. So I think they're just like they're trying to see how far they can push it. Mm-hmm. Just pushing the boundaries. And you they're know, you know, like the they've the hit the they've hit the wall. Yeah, you don't like to push the boundaries. Yeah, you don't like how they're pushing the boundaries. Dude, breaking boundaries. I personally don't care for them at all, though. Uh, it's a drop. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Same. I'd p- probably drop them. I love the fossil colorway and everything, but yeah, they have been using it quite often. Um, and it's just not a shoe that I would personally want to own. Mm. Just like not a fan of Air Maxes as well. Yeah. I did want to pose this to you guys though. If you did, like, if someone gave you a pair, and I know we don't really care for them at all, mm-hmm. would you dip dye them? 
because I know that's what people were like. Yo, a lot of uh, people were people doing, doing that with the, the Spiridons, yeah, like the the stuff. first like yeah, the fossil Spiridons. Like, there's like that one dude that really popped off because like he dip dyed his pair and like he made it like a like a nice like green mm-hmm. like hue. So, if someone gave you a pair, would you do that? Yes or no? I mean, and if so, what color? I mean, I wouldn't wear them, so I wouldn't like put in the effort of dyeing them. Fair. Because <laughs> I don't know if, if I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the value of that of that would be. I guess it'd be kind of actually it wouldn't be one of one because somebody could do that themselves. True, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, if I were theoretically, theoretically, were yeah. to dye them, yeah, probably do like a green, olive green, something. Olive like that. green. Okay. Something light. If I were to dye them, honestly, like very, very my color. I just do it like a bright orange, honestly. Oh, that'd be kind of sick. I have a lot of green right now. <laughs> I have a lot of green. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do like a bright orange, like the brightest orange I can. Mm-hmm. But knowing me, if I did try to dip dye them, I don't know how to do it, so it end up really <laughs> badly. So it'd probably be an even brighter orange. <laughs> I feel like a pink would come out nice. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but actually, yeah, wait, what do you what do you think about? It? Is it is it a copper drop for you? Oh, yeah, no, drop, yeah. Drop, okay, there we go. I didn't, I don't, yeah, I don't think I said it. <laughs> it's unanimous, <laughs> it's a drop. Right, so, like, all three around the board. All right, and then the next, the sweep. final one we're going to talk about, just a, a, a drop sweep. 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 <laughs> drop sweep. The final thing we're going to talk about is going to be the Wales Bonner Adidas Samba shoe. Mm. And we'll start off with you, actually. Bloat core at its finest right now, right here. Bloat core. Bloat yeah, core. You, if, okay, so you, 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 you want to explain that for people that don't know what that means? I think we talked about it last time. Oh, yeah, you we did? Talked about, okay, we talked about yeah, it. easy. Yeah, we talked about that. You know, it's just, I mean, just like a, ke- like a jort and like <laughs> like a polo shirt like or like a soccer team. Yeah, soccer jersey. Soccer team jersey. Yeah. I mean, Adidas shout song. out Paris Saint-Germain. They just won, I think, right? I don't know. I don't pay attention to football. I don't watch kidding. sports. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but speaking of sports, shout out to the Golden State Warriors. Oh yeah, go Golden Mid. State. Oh, Matt, he, what do you think? What anyway, do you think um, about them? About the, um, there was four, three, three, four colorways. Three or four, yeah. Um, really like the, that like kind of like the cream and green one. Mm-hmm. Um, brown, the black and green as well. Can pass on the the red ones. It's a little too much for me or i just can't pull off red too well mm-hmm. even though i've been told mm-hmm. red's kind of like my my thing um but yeah i would cop these uh yeah I'd definitely hard cop um get into the i've been wanting just a, like a normal pair of for like a mm-hmm. little bit now it's, very popular it's now been too. kind of yeah it's been getting popular and but it's also been kind of like people have just been hating on it as well yeah so it's just like do I buy them because I like them, <laughs> or? Mm. <laughs> Guess people don't like just them. People are just gonna like just rag on me. That's fair. Mm. What about you, see? Um, that's tough. I really liked the campaign for it. It was um, I think it was well put together. Um, not the biggest Samba fan, TBH. Uh, but I think the Wales Bonner like collab. I think elevated the the silhouette in general. Um, I really appreciate the the cream and green ones, just like Connor was saying. Uh, I think in all in all though, I think it's a it's a it's a pass for me. Like it's like a like it's like kind of on the fence. It's a pass though. There we go, easy. And yeah, um, definitely no for you. Easy, yeah, I love. Easy no. Yeah, I love Sambas. I love Adidas, but yeah, no, 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 it's the Wells Bonner. I just like the colorways for them. That's all it is. Yeah, they did a collab before too, right? They've done a lot of collabs before. Their apparel is really nice, but yeah, the, the Sambas are not that great though. It is what it is. Seeking. Okay, so we got through the copper drops, you know. But what is like? Is there any like recent pickups you guys have had recently? Well, this sweater. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, just yeah, a couple pieces from Hez's thing. Yeah, this sweater, like a this sashimi, like eighties, like crop T shirt also nice. has. <laughs> it, it has a funny like little like um saying on the back. It's like raw mo better. <laughs> of course, of course. Um oh yeah, I got these pants too at the same time. From the shop. Okay, nice. Um I think that oh, Kian's thing. That's Shout right. Yeah. Boy, Kian. Shout out Kian, yeah, for opening a store, yeah. Check it out. Open Tuesday through Sunday. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Three, three to six. six. Three yeah. to six. Check them out over on ten twenty three Pensacola. Whoop. Um, oh, you have the address but, down too. Hmm? Yeah, the address down. It's kind of an wow. easy. It's kind of an easy. 
little little address. Nice. Um, but remember. yeah, copped a couple things from him. I got a got like a Tahiti tee like from the eighties mm -hmm. and like a nineties Russell blank zip up. Nice. From like recent memory. Don't they think think they think about shit. What about you guys? Um. Well, I've been. Okay, so I know if anybody knows me, if you know me, you know that I'm not frugal at all, and I'm, I buy a lot, and I also sell a lot of stuff. So I've been kind of keeping. I I've been trying to like chill a little bit more, especially after coming back from a trip, and I it was a really spendy trip, um, but I did cave and give in to peer pressure, and I bought a pair of CDG. <laughs> Phone posits. Yeah, wait, see, what? Travis, wait, Travis does not wait, even remember this right. happening. Wait, he was wait, the one that peer pressured do me into doing right. this. When did you do this? Friday? Friday. Yeah. Last week, Friday. <laughs> Shout out to homie Jared at Kith. <laughs> but like, he put me on game. He's like, hey, yo, hey, yo slime. What? Dover Street Market <laughs> has it on sale, half off. And if you if you know, if you're familiar with the CDG phone posits, they retailed dumb high. They retailed at 520. What size did you? What size you? It's an eight. Let me know when you. I don't even know get. if it's gonna fit me actually. Let me know if you get ready. Uh, so, anyway, oh, so no. retails at five twenty. Yeah. Retail at five twenty was on sale for half off, so I bought it at two sixty, free shipping, no tax. Two sixty. I don't have them in hand yet, so we'll see if I end up keeping them. I think this time around I actually saved money, so I bought. I did actually, yeah. I bought only two things. So I bought um, a shirt from Keen's Pop Up, of course. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but it was a nice, it was like a black shirt. I had a coffee in front of it. I think it was like one of like the local prison shirts. And then I bought one from Hez's recent pop up oh, over here, actually, the Matson hey. shirt. Yeah, so awesome. fire! Shout out to Steve Adores again, man. You're making money, man. That's all I gotta say. But yeah, but actually, yeah. Like from the last podcast, I'm trying to save money. Bought only two things in the past like few weeks. I'm proud of oh, myself. Wait, yeah. wait, I actually remembered. Yeah, big ones actually. Um, the Marnie stuff. <laughs> oh shoot, that's <laughs> yeah, right. I did two, buy yeah. more. I also oh, bought two boy. um two button ups from the Marnie collection. That's I right. Bought, yeah, I bought the button up as well as the yellow flower one. That's right. I got the the pink or the cream and pink um plaid pants. Oh, that's right. And then Gabby Gabby sniped me a pair of the the green flower pants nice. as well. Um, gave it back to her though to him because it's kind of long. Mm, they're very long. They're very baggy, but I love baggy. But, uh, well, yeah, thanks for keeping me accountable, I guess. I low key forgot. <laughs> me like, too. So... I guess I didn't save money this time, huh? I did, yeah, that, that was a big, that was a big purchase. Wah, wah. Oh, well. Wow, this feels weird to be on the other side of this whole situation. Oh, you don't situation. like Marnie, huh? You don't like the Marnie Uclos stuff? Well, just like being the the one that's like spending money. As the one that could afford actual Marnie. Well, you no, know, <laughs> being the one like not spending like a ton of money. Like, this is weird. I feel like I'm always the one like copping like a whole bunch oh, of Oh, well, we just got paid not too long ago. So, yeah, when True. I get, when usually when I get paid, I splurge a little bit, uh, which is very bad. Very bad. Mm. <laughs> Relatable. Save your money. Save your money. Live better. And yeah, that's going to be it for this podcast up. episode. Thank you so much, Mr. T. Goda, for, for, for joining Again, us. Again, thanks for having me. You know, we love to push the boundaries. So we bring bringing in people, having guests. And T does stand for tall. That, that, was that good, T? Tall Goda. <laughs> tall Goda. That's what they call him. That's his brother, dude, Tyler. Shout, no, out, dude, Tyler. shout out Tyler. I love you, Tyler. Dude, shout out Tyler, man. Yeah. He should be the manager. <laughs> But yeah, on that note, thank you guys so much again for listening and watching. I appreciate you guys as always. Um, of course, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe. We have, of course, the weekly vlogs coming out. And, you know, maybe next time we have another guest on the podcast next time. But yeah, you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you guys so much.